Hey, what's going on everybody? I got the long awaited video for you. The Profit Trailer version 1.5 or this Profit Trailer Feeder version 1.5 update. And this is the one that's going to go with your Profit Trailer version 2. So this is the big update. This is the one that no one seems to understand how to get going. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are running this thing. But um, I, I even had a little bit of trouble, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys what I had, um, a couple of the errors that I was getting, try and see if we can get this thing set up for you without any problems. But the first thing I want to do, and if you already know what PT Feeder is, skip ahead like 30 seconds, I apologize, but um, there's a lot of new people to the channel and a lot of people who are using Profit Trailer who aren't using Feeder, and I just want to give a brief outline of what this is. Basically, Profit Feeder, what it does is it updates your, it overwrites your pairs, your indicators, and your DCA log or your DCA folders um, in Profit Trailer based on certain market conditions. Um, so it's, it's really powerful if you have these settings honed in correctly. Uh, for example, it shows right here, if BTC rises by 5%, then you can lower your buy value by 50%. And that's, that's really powerful because, and we've talked about this on the channel many times, if Bitcoin starts to, to pump, a lot of the altcoins start to bleed because a lot of people take money out of the altcoins, put it into Bitcoin. Now, if, if the overall market increases by 10%, you can, you can increase your buy value by 50% if you wanted to, because we're pretty much the overall market is in a bull run like we were in last week. And so I actually used this, um, offset a little bit last week to kind of test. When we were in this bull market and I started buying more uh, per trade when when we were in this bull market, when everything was up five to 10 percent at any given point. And so that becomes really powerful. And one thing I really like about Profit Feeder is in a downtrend, you can set all sorts of cool stuff to protect you from the downside. And with Profit Trailer, it's not so set and forget um, because you kind of have to be watching the markets. But with PT Feeder, it gives you a little more. Uh, leeway to kind of step away and let this thing kind of do its thing right and then there's another thing about the dca bags where that you'll kind of inevitably get into and i'm going to be going over that dca strategy multiple times in multiple upcoming videos because the strategy that uh patrick and i were working on is is really really powerful and, and he calls it the uh, dilution strategy and, and basically that's the one with the spreadsheet that i was using so i really recommend watching those videos if you have some deep bags i'm going to be going into that in real depth and then you guys can join our discords and we'll help you out with how that that actually works so basically you want to download this um, what i recommend doing is going down to PT feeder version 1.5, I'd go down a little bit and I'd, I'd read this line for a full PT feeder 1.4 to 1.5 upgrade guide. Click here. I already clicked it earlier and you'll go to this page. And basically this is important. Um, this is something I missed at first. Um, because I, like most people mistakenly, oh, excuse me, mistakenly didn't read the, the uh, wiki before I started downloading this, I figured I could just ha hammer it out, but there's a couple things you might forget. And I realized that in the error logs that my .NET was clearly out of date. So go here, just click on this link and you'll, you'll get access to the newest .NET. And this is really important. You, it won't run without this. So make sure you're following this. Um, review, review your host settings.json file. So once you've unzip this top one you're going to click on the most recent update and you're going to get a folder that looks like that you'll click into your config folder and this is where everything lies so we're going to open up our host settings which i already opened and here we are i would show you this in profit trailer but since we're going to be in and out of these folders i'm just going to keep it like this so this is also very important to to note i'm on a mac so the file path is different than on a Windows. On a Windows, you need to make sure that you're using two slashes um, like this. On a Mac, you're gonna use one slash in the opposite direction, okay? So that's very important. Find your file path where your profit trailer um, version two is, wherever it is on your desktop. This is different from before. We used to have the, the slash trading folder 
Now there's no trading folder. It's just going straight to your profit trailer folder that you unzipped earlier. You got that thing going and you're good. Now this is another important point that some people may miss and this might mess some people up. The profit trailer API endpoint. This is actually the endpoint, the local host of your profit trailer. And the reason we're using this is because profit feeder is now going to feed these settings into profit trailers GUI. So when you go onto your local host 8081 in your search browser and you're, you're looking at your pairs folder and everything, well, there's that config file there and it's a drop down and you can actually make all of these edits within profit trailer. So that's cool. Make sure that you're using, if you're using HTTP, um, I noticed that I had some errors and there is actually an error log on this installation that shows, where was it? This upgrade guide. And it tells you somewhere in here, maybe it wasn't this. Where was it? Host settings. I apologize for configuration host. So this is important right here. So with this profit trailer API endpoint one, um, they, they give a pretty good explanation of what might happen. It says note that if you're using an enforced SSL, you may need to give your full address as local host may not be available on HTTP. So this caused me some problems when setting it up. Um, this, this works for me at the moment and it is, it's fine. Whoa, did not mean to do that. I apologize. But if you see their example, it says HTTP colon slash slash location host 8081. So just be aware if you're getting API issues, take a look at this, maybe play around. Um, if you're using HTTPS, put the S in there, you'll be fine. Put in your license key. Uh, market conditions check. This was not in the, the standard host settings folder that you download from, uh, the PT GitHub or the PTF GitHub. So I just, I threw that in. I think the standard is five, but I know Binance will let you do up to four. So I'm going to do four for, until it starts to block me. Um, this, the rest is fine. If you have your telegram, all this stuff is fine. This is kind of important. If you're getting issues, you're getting errors change this from information to debug. And that's what I did. And basically it logs more information in your, your error log. So that's kind of important. Um, now the, for the fun stuff is we're going to get into this app settings folder here. So we get into open this up with text edit or whatever you're using. And this is where all the settings are lying. And there's a lot of new stuff in this. So this is very important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to configurations. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So the app settings folder, and this isn't super helpful when, when you're using profit feeder, um, most of these settings and all of this stuff is mainly residing in the profit trailer wiki. So we'll go over here and most of this stuff you'll find in the, the pairs properties or the DCA properties or the indicators properties, but we'll just kind of get into it. Um, and by, by the way, these are by no means like set up settings. I've only been testing them for like a day and a half and, um, they're doing okay. I, I don't know everything about PT feeder yet. So these are just kind of set up to get you going. And I'm going to leave a couple things sort of blank. So you guys can kind of fill them in. Um, I'm probably going to leave keep balance percentage at a hundred just so everybody, you know, it's not going to trade anything. This is how much you're going to end up keeping in your balance. So anyway, let's just get through this. So base currency is BTC. These are max trailing profits, min trailing profits. We've been over this many times in the past. Hidden coins, I have BNB. Excluded coins, these are all the excluded ones I don't want to trade. Sell only mode, these are all the ones that, are, same idea, either I hold these coins and I don't want to buy any more of them. We've talked about that in the past. So minutes for longer term trend, I'm using 720 minutes to measure the, the regular trend is 60. Top currencies to check is 40. Um, and then you have your common. So this is basically all of your information that is going to be sent over to profit trailer. So if you look at these, we have our keep balance. I left it at zero because I'm going to use the percentage. So I'm going to probably keep mine to 
10 to 20 percent depending on my uh, dca strategy but i'm going to leave this at 100 so if you want to move this around um, when you download my settings you're going to have to go in and move these to kind of give your own idea of what you want to do with your with your bot so max trading pair is going to be 10. let's just move down a little bit the dust i just left that standard left this standard so these are all the this is for dca same idea i'm okay with dcaing a bunch of times um my dca sell only mode buy trigger negative five percent indicators so this is kind of important this is kind of some of the new stuff you're going to have some new indicators but um this is for the bollinger band i believe so this is your indicator for that this is your sma cross ema rsi um stochastic your macd your indicator sell only mode trigger length um, this is important go into the wiki read about this um if you get lost i wouldn't change this uh let's see defaults okay so initial cost i got at zero because i'm putting the initial cost percentage in at three that's my uh per trade balance that i'm willing to spend per 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 purchase <laughs> so now we're getting into the juicy stuff this is your buy strategies and these are your defaults just as we've talked in the past so my default buy strategy is going to be ema gain i'm going to set it at negative 0.9 percent for a buy value my buy value limit is going to be negative six if it's way below like negative six negative seven negative eight i don't want it to be buying because that's probably a big dump so my my secondary buy strategy is going to be the rsi and so this is something I'm still like fiddling around with a little bit, I guess. Um, I set it to 50 because anything below roughly the, the center line at 50, um, it's kind of where you want a coin to hang out, maybe above the 50, especially if it's pumping, it's going to hit up around 70 when it's before it gets overbought. So I might, I might move this down a bit. Um, but I have some offsets down here set up. So. That's that. DC enabled negative three. Uh, max buy spread is two. This is all pretty standard. Um, my A sell strategy is gain. So my sell value is at 1%. And then my secondary sell strategy is RSI as well. And that sell value is going to be anything above 40. And differences for buy is anything below 50. And, and for sell is anything above 40. So opposite sort of take profit, take profit percentage. Um, if you want to find out what some of these are, you can, you can go into the profit trailer wiki and do your research. Just like we've talked about in the past, just type this in, take profit percentage. And we'll go down to that. And it says set a profit percentage above which the bot will attempt to sell the coin. If the price has remained within the default, take profit reset percentage move so basically if this is and and this max profit is also kind of tied in here but basically if, if my coin goes above 1.5 percent i'm i'm okay selling it so i'm probably never going to get more than a 1.5 percent daily average but that kind of protects me a little bit and i might, might increase this a little bit um you know i'm still testing but the take take profit wait time is 10 minutes take profit percentage 0.5 um let's see min buy volume 250 and that that'll show up in your uh possible buy logs and and all this stuff in the new version two so it's pretty nice um, we can actually look at that real quick so it'll tell you you know i have too many max pairs so it's not going to buy anything because it's all these have max pairs underneath them um, and then these are my buying strategies at the moment are assigned ema gain so let's go back to this wiki and where were we so we're looking at dca max cost is at one um, dca max buy times is at four so i want to dca four times at this point okay so this is where it gets a little juicy in here and i'm still testing this but we'll we'll kind of find out how this works in the coming weeks but basically my dca a buy strategy is going to be loss 
So this is the first thing to get triggered. So at negative three, between negative 3% and negative 10%, um, my DCA A buy value will be triggered as true. And then my DCA B buy strategy is low BB. So between negative 2% and negative 20% below that low BB line that we've talked about in previous videos, um, then that one will become triggered as true. And then my DCA C buy strategy is going to be RSI and that's going to be anywhere between 35 and one. And you can put this to zero. I just put out one. I'm not really sure why I don't quite remember, <laughs> but uh, there's no point. It's not going to get to one most likely. So this is going to be a little bit interesting to see how this plays out because this is really going to limit your opportunity of when you do purchase a coin. And this goes for both DCA and a regular buy. So, you know, I'm not too sure how this is going to work because this is completely different than what we've used in the past. We've used Anderson double down uh, theory. And basically that's just at a given percentage of negative, it's going to purchase at that percentage. So this is going to be a little bit different. I'm still testing it. I'm trying to see if maybe I can catch better uh, DCA buys. Um, maybe more on, on an uptrend or at, at a bottom of a, of a given kind of swing. And, you know, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. But like I said previously in the video, um, I'm actually testing a, a completely different DCA strategy that both Patrick and I have been working on. So um, that'll be coming out and updated in, and I'll update everybody in a new video based on that spreadsheet that I was going over. So anyway, back to the settings. DCA by percentage is 100 DCA by triggers negative three um, DCA by trigger one is negative three DCA by trigger two is negative 3.5 um, DCA by trigger three is negative four percent and then negative 12 percent so I'm trying to catch the DCAs relatively early and then if it continues to fall I want to catch one uh, pretty late and then you know hopefully cost average my way in and this is something really cool about the new version 2 profit trailer is you can now create different buy percentages for each DCA level that you're going in so basically what we have here is your DCA buy percentage one is the first time you DCA it's gonna buy a hundred percent of the coins that you have the second time it's gonna buy 70 percent of the coins you have then 50 then 30 so this is kind of a way to dollar cost average your way down, but maybe not use as much Bitcoin, but still lowering your, your average on the way down. So we're, I'm still kind of testing this, see how this works. Um, my DCA sell strategy is at gain. Um, it's at a 1% gain. My RSI value, anything above 40, I'm okay getting rid of in the DCA. And generally speaking, when you, you sell a coin, you, you generally want it to be an RSI above maybe 50 or 60. But in the DCA, I'm okay with getting it at a 1% gain. And so I'm still testing these sell strategies as well, because like I said, having multiple buy and sell strategies really limits your opportunities on your buy and sell. So with these these new settings, you may not be buying and selling as often. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. I'm still looking at it. Uh, DCA max profit, I set to 1.2%. So if anything gets to 1.2%, I'm okay taking uh, my profit there. Now you can change that to higher or set it to zero and and um, or, or just delete it. And it'll use a default of nothing. It, it won't use the setting. And same goes for max profit. Um, DCA min buy volume, I, I lowered this to 200. I think I'm actually going to lower this to like 175 because some of the coins I have right now are just below 200. Um, DCA min order book volume percentage, I let this at 100. Max buy spread, all this stuff is pretty standard. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is this is the real interesting part of the new PT feeder is the market conditions groupings. And as you can see here, we have an override signal. And what's kind of cool about the new PT feeder is you don't need those folding folders anymore. You don't need the bear, the bull, the super bowl. You don't need those or the boring folders. You can literally hard code it all directly into these overrides. 
And that makes it pretty nice because you can actually update this in the profit trailer GUI and mess around with it on, on the fly. And, and that makes it cool. And then it's also all in one spot. So you don't have to continually go in and, and mess with each individual folder and each DCA and each indicator and, and so on and so forth. Um, but you still can use it that way if you want. You still can have the folders. There's no problem with that. And they explain how that works in the wiki. If you do want to use the folders, you can go in there and check that out. So my buy strategy, my overrides here for my DCAs. Um, and, and there's a couple things that I'm still not 100% sure on. And I promise I will be doing an update video on these settings sometime next week. I just wanted to get this out because I've gotten so many freaking comments about this. Um, so basically my default buy strategy is, or my A buy strategy here is low BB because we are in a negative bear market sort of trend here at negative 4% is when this folder is triggered. Um, my buy value is between negative 10 and negative 35% below the low BB line. Uh, my B buy strategy is at loss. So at negative 5% um, of the coin value over the past 24 hours is where I want to be buying. Uh, my buy value limit is at negative 25. So anywhere between negative 5 and 25. My C buy strategy is RSI. So anything below 35 is cool with me to purchase in this bearish market. And the reason I have these set so conservatively is because you don't want to get into a bad purchase um, in one of these negative bear trends. So my max profit is at 1.1. I have my DCA enabled at negative four. My DCA buy strategy is at low BB between zero and negative 30. Um, DCA buy strategy is at loss. Pretty much you guys can figure that out for yourself. Um, I changed the DCA buy triggers in this folder for a purpose. And this is what's cool is, is previously we weren't able to, to put any of this DCA information, this max profit information, these buy values and all this stuff. Um, a lot of this is new to this section of PT feeder. So this DCA stuff is literally overriding your profit trailer DCA folder for this market condition. So that's kind of cool. Um, keep that in mind. I lowered these from the, the standards up top, which were somewhere in here, right in here, negative three, negative 3.5, negative four, negative 12. So I have negative four. This should have been, I guess I didn't even update these, negative 4.5. This is my test folder. So this isn't even what I'm running, but I believe that is what I'm running right now. So I'm trying to catch them as quick as possible so I can play that fluctuation in the market in case, um, you know, something happens and, and something kind of starts to fly up. So actually, let's see, I want to DCA at four. I apologize. I'm changing these on the fly on you guys, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm running with right there. Cause this actually is the buy trigger. Okay. So now we're going into the boring. I left the boring alone. Um, everything up here is, is solid for me with boring. And then the bull market, everything in here is pretty much good, except this is the one thing in this PT feeder, new PT feeder version that I'm not sure of yet. So I'm, I'm still kind of watching the sales and stuff to see what they come through with. But the EMA gain, so I just want to use in a bull market, I want to use one buying strategy. So I want to use EMA gain at a buy value of negative 0.75 and a buy value limit between negative 0.75 and negative six. And what I'm not too sure about, and I could probably easily find out if I wasn't so freaking busy, is can I have one A buy strategy here? And is this just overriding my A buy strategy up here, which I'm assuming it probably is, and it's still using my B buy strategy. Um, which is sort of okay uh, with me, but I haven't necessarily seen a bull market since I started testing this. So it's hard for me to tell. Um, or is it the fact that I would need to have just one buy strategy uh, up here in the, the regular settings? So I would, I would remove this and then add this in to my other folders where I see fit. So I'm not too sure which one it is yet. I'm assuming it's the second one, but I'm kind of just waiting and I'm testing using 
both assuming that it's uh, it's also using the the default B strategy, which would be the RSI. I'm kind of assuming that that is is the case. So just if you only want to use one, I recommend looking into that. I will look into that um, over the weekend when I have a bit more time. And I'll get back to you guys in my next video. I promise it'll be more in depth on all of these settings. I'll give you guys a better idea of what's actually going on and I'll have an updated set of settings. This is just to get it out there so people know how to kind of install it, get it going, what the most valuable things are in here. And then I'll do an updated version of, of my like honed in legit settings in the very near future, I promise you guys. So this stuff down here, I pretty much left the same. Now, uh, methadone, I believe said that he is using, uh, PT feeder settings, like he, he, the ones you download from profit trailer feeder, the, the GitHub, they have settings already inputted in there. And I, I'm pretty sure you could just use those standard and you might have to make a couple changes. Um, I would just read through them. If you do want to use those settings, um, that is completely fine. I'm pretty sure him and crypto gnome and his team kind of went through and, and made some sort of basic settings to look at mine are a bit different mine are definitely changed actually quite a bit so you can use these if you want i recommend changing a, a few things kind of test leave a comment in the comments below with what you changed um, i'm always curious if anybody knows the answer to that question that i had about can i just leave one uh a buy strategy and this is all it's going to do i'm i'm almost positive that since this is an override it's only overriding the a buy strategy up in my default so that's, that's what i'm assuming it's doing but if you have a definitive answer let me know if not i'll figure it out by the next video um, i'll do a little digging this weekend when i have more time but if you guys do enjoy these videos i'm sorry it took so long um, i'm sorry the video was super long and drawn out I've been super busy and I got a bunch of really cool updates that I'm going to be updating you guys on in the coming weeks. I am super pumped for something, um, for one of the things I'm working on. So that, that'll be really cool. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, hit the like button if you like the video. I really, really appreciate that. I'm trying to, to grow this channel as big as possible. So I really appreciate that, you guys. With that said, I will be back with another PT feeder and profit trailer update sometime early next week because I'm going on vacation tomorrow. So I'll catch you all when I'm back later.